Hello, and welcome to the second part of accessing data on the Cisco 9800 wireless controller using NetConf. I'm Francisco Sedano, and in this second part, we will do a hands-on session on using an open source tool to see and change some parameters in our wireless controller. Now, in the first part, we went through the different data models exposed from the controller, and we saw what's NetConf and how it can help us to retrieve data from the controller. So, well, the first thing to, uh, you need is a tool to query the controller and interact with the data. While there are multiple tools available, a very nice one we're going to use is Young Explorer, which is an open source tool made by Cisco. Young Explorer features a very visual interface to the Young models and makes it very easy to interact with the controller. You can see here, these are some screenshots from the GitHub page from Young Explorer. And we can just visually see a tree of all the elements we can interact on the controller. Even it can write some example code for us. We will explore also that one in the demo. Now, while the tool is uh, very powerful and very nice, if we go to the section on how to install it, it can be a little cumbersome to install. You see it's not really supported on Windows. It has really a lot of dependencies and really takes some time to install. So what I did is I create a, a Docker package to make the installation easier. I will have later a video I recorded about Docker containers, but for the purpose of this discussion, you don't really need to know how Docker works. You only need to have Docker installed on your machine. So please go ahead, install Docker on your machine, and let's continue from there. Once you have Docker installed on your machine, we can go here to the repository I created with the data we need to deploy Young Explorer using Docker Compose. So let's just download the zip file. It's really small. And once we have the file here, you see it's really 1K. We can expand it. And Let's have a look what's there. So the only important file on this repository is this one called docker-compose.yaml. And just for reference, it's just a text file explaining which image to pull and how to use this image and which port to expose. So once you have this data on your computer, we can do just do docker compose That's pretty much it. You don't need to know anything else. Just wait a little bit. The first time you do, it, you do this, it will take some time. You have to download some data. This is only the first time. Next time you start it, it will be just immediate. Once the download has been completed, Docker will start a new container with Young Explorer. will expose the port being used from uh, on Young Explorer, so we can just open a browser on our machine and access the tool. Young Explorer is based on Flash, so we need to open a browser with Flash support. We'll use Firefox for that. Not a good moment to update. Okay, so here we can see we can use localhost and port 8088. Let's do that. Takes a while. And this is the interface for Django Explorer. Now the first, the, the first thing we need to do is to create a profile, device profile. So let's go ahead and click here. We choose admin username, <coughs> admin password. And let's add a profile. A profile is just a it tells uh, Young Explorer how to connect to your wireless controller. You can have multiple profiles, each for one different controller. Let's add one. Lab. Device, doesn't matter too much. You can put like XR. <coughs> User, use admin. Now, netconf, netconf, netconf IP is the IP address of your wireless controller. And then 2, 2200 for us. We're going to use NetConf over SSH. This is port A30. 
username, the one defined on your controller, and password, the one defined on your controller. And finally, description, you can put whatever you want here. We save, and we'll click now on view side. <coughs> and now we go here and we choose the profile we use. You see everything is populated here. So the first thing we need is to download the models. This jam model we mentioned before, there are multiple ways you can access them. But this is one is just uh, we can tell the tool go to the controller and fetch the models from it. So we go here to man manage models. Workspace is what we have on the machine, nothing at the moment. We click on device. Again, we choose the device profile we use. And these are all the YAM models supported on our wireless controller. For this demo, what we are going to do is we are going to have a look at the wireless controller data and we are going to change something. What we are going to change is the password from one SSID with PSK we have. So let's filter on all this list of uh, young models for wireless. So from this list of young models, we need to find the one we want to, to access. Now remember, what we want to do is to see which dominant lands are created in our controller and change the PSK for one of them. So the, the easiest we can do here is look for something config. Remember, there are two types of uh, uh, that, uh, data, config and over. We want to change the configuration of some uh, WLAN, so we want config. So this is wireless, uh, wireless WLAN config. This looks like a good one. So this mentioned, this is uh, the, data, the models which are on the device itself. We need to import them into our workspace. So with this one selected, we go here and we click on Sync. It's going to fetch the model from the controller and download to our workspace. Takes a second. And now this is our workspace. It got this WLAN config, as we ask, and all the dependencies. Since this model also refers to some data types and so on, needs to bring also these dependencies. And now, once this is downloaded on, download on our workbench, we need to click here and click on subscribe. And now you can see the model itself on the Explorer. We can expand, and we see here the different branches. So probably the one we are interested into is WLAN config entries. So we keep expanding, you can see what's inside of this model. And something which is also very nice, if you click on any of the items, here on the right, you see the description on, of this uh, particular element. Which data type, data type can you uh, can accept? This boolean, this is also a boolean, the profile name is a string, you can see the description, the field, uh, the text path, and so on. Now let's first query the WLANs, the WLANs that are on our controller. In order to do that, here on this values column, we click get and click on run. So this is going to fetch the data from the controller and this is the result. And you see here, this is XML encoded. And these are the actual, the actual, the actual data which is coming is this one. This is the profile name, SSID 1610. The, uh, SSID, the status, and so on. If this is too much information, maybe you are not interested in all this information. You can filter on a specific uh, items. Let's say you only want to see the PSK. So we can click on Get here. Now when we click Run, only the PSK will come. So this is the data. Let's compare what uh, what we get from the web UI on the wireless controller. I'm going to open the web in, the web UI for the same wireless controller. Use a password. Okay. 
And here in the configura configuration menu, we go to WLANs, and we see this SSID. If we click on it, go to security, and click on this to show the PSK, we can see Cisco 123, which is the same that we were seeing on the Young Explorer. Good, this is very good to explore and to investigate on the data model. Now let's say we want also to change the PSK for this WLAN. Now to change the data, the first thing we need to do is to click here on Reset to reset uh, all the entries from this tree. We click here, Reset, everything is clean. Now we need to do a search on the profile name we want to do, we want to change. For that, let's do first, let's query all the WLANs first. We see here the profile name is this one, SSID 1610. With this profile name, we can now reset the entire tree. And now on the value for profile name, we put the one we want to search, SSID 1610. Now we scroll down to the PSK, click on it, and now as value, we need to put the new value. Let's put new password WLAN. Okay. And to the right, it says operation, we need to click on merge, because this configuration will be merged with the existing one. Now, we click on run again, the only response we get is OK. So let's go back to the web UI and compare the values now. I'm going to console this and open the page again and go to security. Let me refresh. Text as I come. This wireless network. We go here security. And we have new password to live on. Which is also interesting is here on the Young Explorer, there is also validation of the data we are getting. So instead of we're going to write an invalid PSK, let's see this go one. Click again on merge. If we try to run this, it's going to fail. Fail with a validation error. And the error is very descriptive. Uh, PSK length must be from 8 to 63 characters. Something also very interesting is on top of uh, changing and um, uh, looking at the, at the config and the data model uh, with this uh, GUI, we can use Young Explorer to generate Python code for us to use this data in our own software. So let's, let's do that. First, let's go into query again all the profile names we have on our controller. Here we reset the tree. On profile name, we do get and we run the query. Before, we get this query with the SSID. Now we're going to click on Python. And this generates the Python code to do exactly the same thing. Let's see how it works. Uh, again, if you don't, you don't need really to. Not really. No. We don't. You don't need really even to have Python installed on your machine. So what uh, you could do that, but also what you can do is on the same directory where you downloaded your Docker data, you can do Docker compose yes. Let me do this bigger. This is going to show you the instance which is running. And you can go inside this uh, Docker container, which already has a Python uh, interpreter. So we can do docker compose exec young explorer, which is the instance name, and which run to that bash. Now we are inside the Docker container, which already has all the tools. So let's create a Python. Uh, program, 
current.pi good and we get data from Young Explorer to this editor. We save it. We have this is my program, the one we created, and let's execute it. It's going to tell us how to use it. So we need to pass host and then two one six eight twenty two hundred username lab password. And it's going to do exactly the same. It's going to go to the controller and query this data. The same as I did as before. On top of that, even it can generate code to change the values like we were doing before. Let's do that again. Let's reset this. Let's copy the SSID we want from profile name. It's the same as we did before. And let's put the PSK to something. So PSK from Python and operation merge. Now instead of click on click and run, we're going to click on Python. <coughs> okay. Again, created this Python code for us. We copy. We go to our shell and we're going to create another program. Update.py. Paste it. Now before executing it, let's see what's there. So we go to our web UI. Wireless networks, SID, security. This is called new password WLAN, the one we put before. And we're going to run our, our new program, Python update dot one need to pass the parameters one six eight twenty two hundred username lab password lab tells us okay we go to the wireless controller with UI refresh the page Here, security, and we see the PSK has been changed. PSK from Fight. So, this is basically the, the introduction to Young Explorer. I hope it was useful for you. And well, just uh, let me know if uh, there is any question. Thanks.